There is a new design trend that is blowing up right now, and this can be combined with so many different niches and products. That trend is floral pattern text designs like these, which continue to sell like crazy, particularly on t-shirts and sweatshirts, with many new designs becoming bestsellers in their first month. In fact, I found one design that's estimated to have made $10,000 in revenue in the last 30 days, and it's only five weeks old. So let's take a look at the product research, and then I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to capitalize on this trend to make more sales and grow your brand. Also, be sure to watch until the end for a bonus design tip to elevate this trend even further. If you're new here, welcome, I'm Adrian. I've generated multiple millions in sales across two apparel brands, and I help people make money online with Shopify and print on demand. My goal is to create the most positive and supportive community of print on demand sellers here on YouTube. So if that's you, join us by subscribing and interacting in the comments. I hopped into Etsy to conduct product research and started by searching the term floral shirt. As I scroll down, we can see a number of best-selling and popular now designs with the floral pattern text. And notice that these designs are blended across a variety of different niches. We've got the mom niche here, the patriotic girl niche, the great grandma niche. Here we have the auntie niche. The list goes on. But let's actually filter this search by bestseller. So to do that, all you need to do is tap all filters, select physical items, star seller, show results. From here in the URL, I'm just gonna change the word star to best. It's kind of weird that Etsy doesn't offer a bestseller filter option, even though you can do this little hack to filter by bestseller. Here we can see a number of popular now and best-selling designs, primarily t-shirts. Here we've got that mama niche shirt, we've got the book lover niche, we've got the patriotic girl niche, we've got the teacher niche, we've got the auntie niche. Let's analyze some of these listings using my favorite product research tool ever be to identify recent sales trends and see the estimated monthly revenue of some of these designs. And side note, you can try Everbee for free by clicking the link below this video and get a special offer on the growth plan, which is what I use. Let's start by analyzing this design in the teacher niche so here we can see that two people have bought it in the last 24 hours. It has the best seller badge. And if we look at the most recent reviews, we can see that a number of people have recently reviewed this product. Let's go ahead and analyze the listing using Everbee. And looking at the trends data, we can see that it's estimated to have made $2,600 in revenue in the last 30 days. Let's also take a look at the lifetime trend. Here we can see it's estimated to have made $7,500 in revenue since it was listed less than five months months ago. Next, let's analyze this mama shirt. Here we can see that four people bought it in the last 24 hours. It has the best seller badge. And if we look at the reviews by most recent, again, we can see that a number of people have recently reviewed this product. Keep in mind, only about 10% or less of people actually leave reviews. So if you do see recent reviews, there's a very good chance that they're actually making a lot more sales than that. Let's go ahead and analyze this listing using Everbee. Looking at the trends data here, we can see that it's estimated to have made $4,000 in revenue in the last 30 days with a 14% growth rate. And let's look at the life lifetime of this listing. So here we can see that it's estimated to have made over $11,000 in revenue since it was listed less than four months ago with an 800% growth rate. Last but not least, let's analyze this patriotic girl t-shirt. Here we can see that four people bought it in the last 24 hours. It has the best seller badge. And if we look at the re most recent reviews, we can see that a lot of people recently reviewed this product. Here we can also see a number of customer photos. Let's analyze the listing. And this trend data is crazy, y'all. Check this out. This t-shirt is estimated to have made over $11,000 in revenue in the last 30 days with a 4,400% growth rate. And if we look at the lifetime of this listing, we can see here that it was listed less than two months ago. And just before we go any further, I wanna ask you a question. When you look at these best-selling floral pattern shirts here, do you notice a trend? If we reverse engineer these shirts here, we can see that every t-shirt is a comfort colors t-shirt and they're all using mock-ups that you can purchase in Etsy. Success leaves clues. Now that we know floral pattern text designs are trending and we've seen a lot of sales validation, let's create a t-shirt for this trend in two steps. Step one, let's create our design. I'm gonna hop 
pop into Kittle to create this design. And we're gonna use a feature called masked text effect, which is essentially putting a picture in text. To start, I'm gonna tap new project and I'm gonna create a custom artboard size that's gonna be 300 DPI and 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. Go ahead and tap create. This is gonna pull up my artboard and the first thing I wanna do is add text. So I'll tap the text icon in the top left, select add headline. As you can see, it's very tiny. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna expand that text. And I wanna create a design for the nurse niche. So I'm just gonna change this to nurse. Next, let's select the trendy font. I'm gonna change this from Roboto to Tricot. Tricot is similar to the design style I commonly saw on best-selling floral pattern text designs. So let's go ahead and stretch this the entire width of the canvas. And then I'm just gonna center it on the artboard. And let's go ahead and change this color. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a navy blue. Next, I'm gonna curve the text since many of the best sellers that we saw earlier had a curved text effect. To do that, just tap the text. We'll go to transformation, arch, and then we're just gonna adjust this to 25. And let's just go ahead and recenter that, stretch it out a little bit more. Next, I'm gonna duplicate this artboard and add a floral texture. So I'll just tap the file name in the top left and then select the duplicate icon. Now to add a floral texture, you can use an image in Kittle or you can upload your own image. I'm gonna upload a 12 floral pattern that I found on Creative Fabrica. And in case you're not aware, 12 pattern text is very trendy right now. So I'll just drag that pattern onto the artboard. And what I'm gonna do is right click on the pattern here and select uses texture. Make sure that normal is selected and then select mask texture. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna add our pattern within the text. Next, what we wanna do is download this design so that we can put it on products to sell. So I'm gonna select download. I'm only gonna select artboard number two. And then I wanna make sure that this is saved as a PNG with a transparent background. Shout out to Kittle for being a sponsor of this video. Kittle is one of my favorite design tools that I use and recommend to my students. You can try for free by clicking the link below this video. And if you want to upgrade your subscription, make sure you use code ADRIANYT for 25% off. As always, I've included links below for all of my favorite print on demand tools, along with any free trials, discounts, or special offers. Thank you in advance for using any of those links, sponsors, and affiliate links support the channel at no extra cost to you and allow me to create more free content like this, which I hope you're finding super valuable. So thank you for using those links. Step two, let's add our design to a trendy t-shirt and mock-up. I'm gonna hop into Printify, which is one of my favorite POD companies because it has over a thousand products to sell, low production costs, and a large network of production partners all over the world, including Printful. You can try Printify for free by clicking the link below and get 30 days of free premium membership with code ADRIAN30. From inside Printify, I'll tap catalog and under women's clothing, t-shirts. And here I'll select the comfort colors tee. And from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose one of my favorite production partners and that is SwiftPod. From the editor, the first thing I wanna do is select my colors. So I'll tap the edit tools, select the variants, and I'm gonna go with white, ivory, and blue jean. These are all colors that I saw on the best sellers earlier. From here, I'll just drag my design onto the mock-up. From here, we can adjust the size and the placement of the design. And I'll go ahead and tap preview to see more realistic images of the shirt and what it'll look like on a human. Here, we can also see how it'll look on the different colors. Here, we can see ivory and here we can see it on white. I'll go ahead and tap save product. That'll take us to the mock-up library. So here we can see all the different mock-ups provided by Printify. We can upload our own or if you have a Placeit account like me, you can create Placeit mockups. In case you're unfamiliar, Placeit has the world's largest mockup library with over 40,000 mockups to choose from across countless product types, from t-shirts to sweatshirts to mugs to tote bags and much more. If you want to check it out, I've included a link below this video, which gives you 15% off. Also, if you did want to use some of the mockups that we saw on the best sellers earlier, a lot of those you can purchase on Etsy. Here's an example of the design on a mockup I purchased on Etsy since it was used by some of the best sellers. When you're happy with your mock-up selection, just tap save selection. This will take you to the product details page. Once I've filled out all the product details, I would tap publish to have Printify automatically publish this to my Shopify store 
or whichever platform you're selling on. And now for the bonus design tip. I don't know if you noticed it earlier, but many of the best sellers that we looked at earlier had an outline around the text. Here's what I mean. On every single one of these floral pattern text designs that you see, they all have a border around them. If you wanna add a border to your design, you can do that in Kittle. Let me show you how. Back in Kittle, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually duplicate the original artboard. So I'm just gonna tap artboard one and select the duplicate icon. And from here, I'm actually gonna download this design as a PNG with a transparent background. So tap the download icon. I'm only gonna select artboard three and make sure that it's a PNG with a transparent background. Now I'm actually gonna delete this text here and I'm gonna drag that PNG back onto the artboard. Next, what I'm gonna do is add the floral pattern text PNG file that we created and used for our t-shirt earlier. So I'll just drag that onto this artboard. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna drag this down I'm gonna bring this to the center. Now next, what I wanna do is I actually wanna take this navy PNG and I wanna vectorize this. So over on the right side, you're gonna have the vectorize option, just tap that. It might go to black, that's no problem. Under illustration color, just select black and then go back and change it to the original color. And then from here, I'm actually gonna add a border to this vectorized design. So I'm gonna select border. I'm gonna change the color to navy. And then I'm just gonna increase the border size here. So you can go ahead and play around with this. And then last but not least, we're gonna take the floral PNG file and we're just gonna drag it over the outlined design. And that is how you add a border to your design. So all you're gonna do now is download this. I'm just gonna download only artboard three and make sure you save it as a PNG with a transparent background. And here's what that new border design looks like on a trendy mock-up. I am super happy with that. If you're enjoying these trend alert videos and you wanna see more like this, comment the word trends below so I know that you're enjoying them. As always, I've included a bunch of free resources, which you can find below, including a link to my new podcast called the Print on a Man podcast.